Hey guys, welcome back to the channel today. Uh, glad to have you with us and uh, looking forward to uh, going over a couple of Ryzen 5 builds with you today. So I've got two different builds. One's going to be a Ryzen 5 on the high end and one's going to be on the budget end. Uh, so we're going to take a look at those. The first one we're going to look at today is going to be what I've termed the sweet Ryzen 5 build. Now in this system here, this is going to be upper end premium parts. Um, all throughout the system and then I've got a cheaper version of this one for you I'm gonna show you in just a minute but uh, for the processor in this one it's a Ryzen 5 1600X this is the highest um, uh, side on the Ryzen 5 uh, taking you to the 1600X a 6 core 12 threads um, you know 210 bucks um, great processor um, you know uh, really it's the the Ryzen 5 is, is kind of a great medium to be um, you can use it for desktop performance you can also use it for gaming performance whichever direction you're looking to go there so it kind of is kind of the best of of two different worlds there so um anyway uh 210 bucks um pretty good price on that and uh, you know we may start to see these drop a little bit more as soon as the apus come out um here pretty soon so we'll be uh keeping an eye on that as well so uh the ryzen 5 1600x does not come with a cooler so i've included a cry rig h7 uh, this is a nice unit. Uh, I love the white fan. I think it'll look great in our white build, white thing build that we got going on. And Cryrig makes a great cooler. Uh, so uh, we'll be dropping that into here as well. On this build, I've gone with the X370 board. This is the Asus Prime X370 Pro. And this is ATX board. Um, nice board from uh, Asus. Um, it's got some great um, reviews on it for the power delivery system. And also the uh, heat sink cooling is here as well. So... Um, Overall, great board, great location for M.2 support uh, above uh, where your graphics card will be sitting. And, uh, you know, overall, great, great unit. So, and it's going to keep inside of our, our theme build that we've got going with our, our white and black that's going on uh, inside of our build here as well. Uh, for memory, G Skill Trident Z RGB 16 gig. Uh, this is a 3200 speed. This is DDR4 memory. And uh, overall, I think this will do a fantastic job. Um, on this particular build here and then also gives us some RGB effect we can kind of control what kind of coloring we want to do with that as well so uh, for storage we've got um, we got two things here we got an SSD um, you know SSDs are, are a must to have especially when you're on more of a premium build uh, just for for boot and fast ride ability uh, EVO I mean uh, uh, SSDs are so so nice to have so and this is a Samsung 850 EVO and it's a 250 gig so that'll hold our operating system it'll hold our programs uh, it'd be a great uh, uh, great drive to have in there and also I've dropped in just a 2 terabyte uh, 7200 RPM Seagate Barracuda for 60 bucks um, you can get some great deals on just um, you know 7200 mechanical drives now so uh, I think I'll do great force there and if we ever needed to add some in the future we could just drop uh, some additional ones in there as well uh, for a video card I went with an Asus GeForce GTX 1060 on this build 6 gig the pricing is slowly starting to drop down on these um, you know as you can see here super biz when I put this uh, build together uh, yesterday they still had them in stock at 389 but as you can see here new eggs got them at 399 they're in stock uh, but this uh, prices are starting to come down on GPUs uh, since Bitcoin kind of fell through the, the floor uh, here over the last uh, last week week to two weeks uh, Bitcoin took a crash and so uh, now there are still people that are still mining various other cryptocurrencies so don't don't uh, don't think that all that's over but uh, it's uh, people aren't hitting it as hard now it's gonna take them a lot longer to pay their systems off it looks like so uh, but anyway, we're going to go with that card in here. It should make a great card for some great 1080. And uh, you probably could squeeze some 1440 out of this card as well. Uh, but uh, for 1080, I think it will work great. And for the most part, I don't think most, I don't think a lot of people are doing 1440 uh, right now. And I really don't think a lot of them are doing 4K. Uh, I know there's some guys out there that are, but I think probably for the most part, most people are probably still running at the 1080 platform. And uh, this card will do a fantastic job at that. <clears throat> for the case, I went with a premium case here. This is the NZXT H700i, and this is the white version. Uh, just a super nice case. Um, you know, you got uh, uh, availability to store up to five SSDs easily, and then you also uh, have got an additional 
uh, movable storage bay system down here. You can mount some more down here as well, or you could put two mechanical drives in there as well. So, um, and this uh, unit also uh, does have uh, uh, fans built in, uh, three uh, fans in the front and one in the rear. And so, since we're going with air cooling on this particular unit for our uh, processor, this case ought to work great. We ought to get some great airflow through here. Now, this this is a case that you can expand into in the future. So, if you ever wanted to change out your CPU from a Ryzen 5 1600X, say you want to go to a Ryzen 7 1800X, and maybe you want to switch over to some closed loop water cooling, this case will work great for that. So, all you need to do maybe is just uh, um, uh, you know, maybe have to upgrade your, your power supply if, if need be, depending on what all you had running in your system. If you maybe you upgraded your processor and your video card, you would probably need to drop in some more power maybe. But for the most part, this case will work with all of it. Um, it's got some integrated RGB lighting in here as well. And um, of course, it's got that um, well-known NZXT cable management bar uh, that uh, NZXT is well known for. And you can also, uh, on this bar here, you can mount uh, you know, uh, you know, cooling solutions, mount your pump and stuff in there as well if you wanted to do a custom loop system in there. So you can do a lot with this case and uh, this would be a case that you could buy and you could do so many different things in it and it does have smart hub technology in there as well for fan control and things like that. So that case there uh, is running about $190. I have seen some deals on those getting down in around 170 but the price has gone back up on that a little bit but and then for power supply I've got the EVGA 650 watt 80 plus gold and this is a full modular all black cables um, EVGA makes some great power supplies and this would work great in the system so uh, 1500 just under fifteen hundred dollars is what we're looking at now of course you, you may have some shipping and some tax on some of that but fifteen hundred bucks for a premium Ryzen 5 system um, this would be a sweet, sweet build right here. Um, I think it would do a fantastic job. You've got easily, you got to upgrade paths in the future on this X370 board. Um, and also with that um, 3200 uh, memory that you got in there, maybe you want to drop two more sticks in later and take it to 32 gigs. Um, but for the most part, this will make a fine, fine system. Now, I do have a cheaper version if you still want to do Ryzen 5 and stay with a white theme, uh, but maybe you can't you know quite do the 1500 but maybe you're more uh want to look at it from a more of a budget standpoint so let's take a look at that so we can go with the ryzen 5 just the standard 1600 so we're still getting the same core six cores 12 threads uh but a little bit slower on the processor and this is a 65 watt instead of a 95 watt uh so it does come with a cooler in the box it comes with uh uh the race spire and so therefore you can uh, use that for uh, stock cooling and that ought to work fine for you um, you know switching over to a, a b350 motherboard um, again uh, cost savings here and we're going to stay with our white theme in our bill but this is the tomahawk arctic b350 um, this this board will do would do the job for you uh, just fine i believe but uh, this board is not designed for heavy heavy overclocking so you know if you're going if you're going to stay with the stock cooler that's not designed for heavy heavy overclocking anyway and so this board here ought to do fine for you if you just dropped it in and, and maybe just um you know do a little bit of mild overclocking tweak it a little bit it should work fine for you for memory i've uh put in the some kingston fury this is just an eight gig kit it's a two by four kit uh 2666 on the speed and so that's going to run you just over 100 bucks for that and um I'm sorry, it's uh, actually it's 140. Wow, oh, it was at 103, but the price went up. Okay, I see what it is now. So, uh, Amazon's out of stock. No wonder, I bet they are out of stock if they were selling it uh, cheaper than that, huh? So, uh, for storage, I dropped off the SSD on this one and just went with a two terabyte drive. Uh, same video card, still going with the Asus um, GTX 1060. For the case, I uh, dropped back, it's still NZXT, and it's still a tempered glass case, but this is the S340 Elite in all white. Again, this is a really, really nice case. You still get the tempered glass, uh, still got uh, SSD storage there in the front, and uh, you can do a lot with this case as well. So you can do water cooling and everything else you need to do in here. You can easily drop a 280 uh, millimeter uh, closed loop system in the front there and uh, do a lot with that as well. And for the power supply, I dropped back to a Corsair CX550M 
This is a 80 plus bronze. It's a 550 watt and it's a semi-modular case. I've built with this one before. Does a great job all black cabling. So you can put this system here together for just over a thousand dollars. Now again this doesn't include a keyboard, mouse, or monitor or a Windows license. Uh, but for just over a thousand dollars you can build a pretty nice system there. So uh, anyway some uh, some pretty good options out there and we're getting to see those video uh, card prices drop down with GPUs and so hopefully we'll start to see that even go down uh, even further here over the coming weeks and uh, also be uh, begin to see some more product be uh, begin to free up. So uh, anyway, I uh, hope you uh, enjoyed this video today and um, be sure to leave me a comment down below uh, for uh, you know if, if you guys are, are interested in either one of these builds and uh, be sure to hit the subscribe button and we'll see you in the next video.